There's so much more meaning to the Star of David than just a Jewish symbol represented on the Israeli flag. The six-pointed star holds a mystical and occult secrets that transcend religion, ethnicity, and culture. And uh, this is the muse of our next guest. Please welcome David Block of Flying in the Wind. Hello, hello. Welcome Thank to you. the show. Thank you for having Fellow me. Fellow skier, speaking of flying in the winds, yeah, right? Exactly. So tell us how you uh, went from the, uh, the high Alps of France to uh, Israel to America to you know, doing uh, the Jewish star and Israeli flag in your day-to-day -day life? Well, I grew up in a Jewish family, uh, always in a Zionist environment. I was very involved with the Jewish community while um, growing up and also uh, in college in Massachusetts, joining APAC and many different organizations. And then I met Aliyah 18 years ago. Amazing. So was this something that always fascinated you? Was the Jewish star just something you remember you know, liking as a child. The Star of David, the, the flag or of the Israel. Jewish star. I'm calling it the Star of David, Jewish sure. star, Magen David, <laughs> Magen David, everything. There's so many names for it. So the, the, the Israeli flag was always a sense of pride, uh, of hope for me, because I always knew I was going to make Aliyah, uh, even before the Bar Mitzvah. And wow. I made it much after, but... Uh, but you knew. Excuse me? But you knew. It was just I knew one it. of those and things. And I was always drawing as a kid, and then, you know, I, with my son, Nadav, we used to draw when he was about two or three years old. When he started drawing, he also start drawing Israeli flags and we went on doing this and that's how I started. So what, I mean, how do you come up with this many variations? Does well, it just come to you? I use the flag of Israel as a canvas, as a tool of, for expression, uh, especially in the last four years where I had a very difficult period of my life. Uh, it kind of helped me together with writing uh, to express what I was feeling, my pains, my sorrows, my hope. Mm -hmm. and. Um, that's what so I the did. flag is, I mean, so the symbol is something that you will always go to, like to bring you hope at times that are yes, more challenging? Yes, I mean, it's really, it's always a, a positive thing. I mean, you know, after the history of the Jewish people, for me, I look at the flag and I say everything is possible and everything is forever and go for it. Yeah. So what is it, so how does it work? Are the, is it all kind of the same materials that you use to, you know, to make your creations? Like, well, how do you do it? How do you go about the process? Well, first of all, I have ideas, and I sometimes can visualize it, and I draw it, hand draw it first, and then I scan it, and I color everything on the computer, mm -hmm. and then I improve. And sometimes I just um, do it by hand collage, and yes, it depends. Whatever, whatever you're feeling, whatever yes. you're feeling in the moment. Now, also, so um, you have an exhibit now that just is, it's, uh, tell us where it is, it and is how people can go see it. It is at Studio Shuki Cook, Wuhama 11, and Mitran Noga. Not too far from your studios. So you were able to walk here. <laughs> uh, I actually ran to come, to come here. The, the opening was just a few hours ago. So, yeah. so uh, also, like, let's talk about just the, uh, you know, the Magen David in general. I mean, it's just, you know, just if you look at the history of it, it has, there's so many, you know, there's so much history, which I find interesting because we're, you know, we're used to seeing it this way and we think of it as being referred to as the Jewish star. But, you know, there's so much, it, it transcends religion. I mean, it was used by Hinduism, you know, all kinds of the symbol. How did, you know, what have you been able to learn about the symbol as a, you know, universal? Um, well, maybe a lot, not enough, maybe about different other cultures as far as the use of the uh, Magen David. But uh, I went much more into the uh, the depth of Judaism with it. And uh, it's like in the meanings in parallel, of it, yes. And the meanings of it in general. So do you hope, do you think that uh, they'd, they'd ever be open here to kind of amending the flag and adding, uh, you know, a new style. <laughs> no, I don't think that. We shouldn't. I mean, this no, is I mean, we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to do that to Herzl. I mean, I love this quote. Simple is good. And I love this quote that was included in your, uh, you know, the information that you sent, but that he had said in 1895, what is a flag? It's not just a cloth hung on a pole. People live for it. They are killed over it. The flag is the only thing for which men are ready to die for. So, and, and you know, and if you think about it, you've lived in so many different places. Is this the only flag that you feel you know, connected to? Well, I feel connected to different other flags. I have, you know, French, Norwegian, Czech, and Swiss origins. And American, so, right. And, and I lived in America for many years, so I am actually started working on different other flags, but for now it's the Israeli flag. That's my This is my your work. flag? Yes, that's my flag. Fantastic. Well, good luck with the exhibit, and how long, uh, how long can people come see it? So they can come uh, every day from 9 to 5 in the afternoon, uh, from Sundays to Thursdays at uh, Studio Shukikuk.